Hi there, and welcome to iCollect. I have a huge opening for everyone today. We're gonna to be checking out 11 blind bags of Series 3 Harry Potter bag tags. These are essentially figurine keychains, and you don't know which one you're gonna get. So this is gonna be really fun, and hopefully we can complete most, if not all, of the set. The cool thing about this one is that there are a lot of chase figures to hunt down in Series 3. Um, the sets aren't usually really big, not a ton of figures to collect, there are eight. However, there's some interesting ones here. So we have Dumbledore, Harry Potter in sweater, Hedwig, we have a Gryffindor crest. There is a Gryffindor crest hologram version, which I'm assuming is more rare. So I'd love to see that today. There's also a Voldemort glow in the dark version, which is really cool. And that's probably the one I wanna collect the most of all of these figures. There's a regular Voldemort right there. And there's a furry Hedwig, so kind of a flocked keychain, which is also a really nice one to collect. And the bag does advertise, find the limited edition furry Hedwig. So I'm assuming that, at least according to the packaging, this is the one that is most sought after, and maybe we'll see the furry Hedwig today. But I am hoping to see um, the glow-in-the-dark Voldemort personally. So anyways, we've got 11 of these to open up, so I hope you enjoy the video, and if you're looking to pick these up, hopefully this also helps you out. These retail for $5.99 at my local Target, and I think you should be able to find them no problem in the trading card section. So let's jump in. Why don't we start with this one? Harry Potter Series 3 bag tags. It doesn't look like there's a tear notch, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it a little bit there. And let's check out our first one. All right, it looks like there's a collector guide inside, in addition to the one printed on the bag, which is kind of neat. And it kind of hides the figure slash teaching. So our first one is, cool, we actually got Voldemort in our very first blind bag. And um, I don't usually associate the word cute with Voldemort, but I gotta say the design for this uh, keychain, this bag tag is actually quite cute. So he's got his wand there. Now, how do we check if this is the glow in the dark one? I think that's a little bit hard to do on video, um, but maybe the plastic will look different for the glow-in-the-dark version of it. My hunch is that this one is not the glow-in-the-dark version. It looks like a pretty normal paint job on the plastic. So unfortunately, probably not the glow-in-the-dark one, but I will confirm later. See if we're right about that. All right, we'll put Voldemort right there. Here's the official collector's guide inside. And there's really nothing different between this collector's guide and the one that you find on the package. So we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Why don't we check out blind bag number two and uh, see what we get here. Uh-oh, cut it a little too close to the hole for the hanger. All right, our next one is, oh my goodness. We got Furry Hedwig in our, our second blind bag. This is awesome. So um, as predicted, Furry Hedwig is simply a flocked version of the regular Hedwig bag tag, but it's really fitting for, you know, an owl, of course. So it really adds a new dimension to the keychain to have a fuzzy flocked texture on it. Um, what an exciting one to get out of these blind bags because um, yeah, that's the one that's advertised on the front. And here we have it, Furry Hedwig. Very cute as well. There's like a little tail there on Hedwig. So there you have it, Furry Hedwig in our second one. We'll put Hedwig there, give some space. And now let's check out this one, number three. We're still gonna open them all, see what we get, because there's still several to collect. This one feels flat, so I'm pretty sure it's a Gryffindor crest. And hopefully it's the hologram version, so we can see what that's like. All right. Oh, it looks like it's not the hologram version of the Gryffindor crest. It's the regular one. Very cool. Gryffindor crest bag tag. Did a good job with the mold. Pretty solid plastic. 
It doesn't feel like hollow or anything, which is nice. So this can probably survive a trip to school if you hang it on your backpack. All right, Gryffindor crest for our third one. Not bad, no duplicates yet. Uh, let's check out another one here. Okay. Oh, it looks like we might have gotten another Voldemort here. We did, here's another uh, Voldemort one. Once again, hard to tell whether or not it's glow in the dark, but it looks identical to the one that we just got uh, right here. So it looks like they may both be not glow in the dark. All right, let's keep going here with our uh, fifth blind bag for Harry Potter Series 3 Bag Tag. And let's see who we get here. Oh, nice. This wouldn't be a Harry Potter video without getting a Harry Potter bag tag. So there is Harry Potter and his H sweater, which is really cool. There's his scar. And yeah, I like these a lot. Really high quality, great paint job. And they would look great on your backpack if you are looking to display them as a Harry Potter fan. All right, here we go, let's keep going. I'm sure though, if you put it on display on your backpack, it'll probably, you know, it'll probably get some wear over time, but you know, it definitely could be worth it. Here we go, next one, <laughs> so we got another Voldemort. So this is just a Voldemort video, pretty much. Um, okay, nice, we definitely got the glow in the dark Voldemort this time, because as you can tell, the plastic is different compared to the regular one. See, this one on the left is the regular painted non-glow-in-the-dark Voldemort. And the one that we just got from this blind bag is definitely the glow-in-the-dark version because you see a bit of a clear plastic, which is really cool. I'll make sure to test out the glow-in-the-dark effect later. Um, probably won't show up great on video, but yeah, that's the difference. This It's actually very clear that this is the glow-in-the-dark one with the clear kind of translucent plastic treatment on Voldemort's head. So that's really cool. Um, we found the variant version of Voldemort, which is kind of, I don't know. That's the one I was looking for, so that's really cool. Now let's continue on here and see what else we get. Technically, we also need to see the regular version of Hedwig. Oh, speaking of which, I think we just got him. Yeah, there you go. Regular version of the Hedwig bag tag. Very cool. I actually really like the regular one too. So yeah, if you wanted to see the comparison between the flocked furry version and the regular Hedwig, there it is. This one kind of has more gray blue eyes almost and a, a gray beak. And the regular one has a black beak and black eyes. So there's actually some subtle differences on the paint job too. So nice, we got the um, regular Hedwig. Let's move on here. Uh, this one feels flat. So I think it's another chance at hopefully getting the Gryffindor Crest um, hologram version. Let's see. Oh, I didn't cut it enough. Give me one second. There we go. Let's see if we're lucky here. Let's see if we can get the hologram version. Oh my goodness, we did. Our collection's really coming together. All right, there is the Gryffindor Crest hologram version. And pretty much the only difference is that this one is molded with a clear orange plastic. And hopefully that shows up on the video. See, it's kind of transparent. You can see through it, which is kind of neat. So that's a nice variant of the Gryffindor Crest. Almost looks like a piece of candy, like a hard candy. And if you want a comparison between the two, um, hopefully you can see the difference there. This one's not see-through and this one is clear with the right, uh, the one on the right being the hologram version. Kind of see the difference in the plastic. Very cool. We're collecting a lot of them. Um, let's check out our next one. Now we just need Dumbledore, I guess. Hopefully we can get Dumbledore. All right, let's go ahead and see. Oh, we got another Hedwig, another regular Hedwig. Not bad. I won't take too much time to show this Hedwig because we already got one, but there's another regular Hedwig. 
And let's go with this one here. This one's definitely a figure, if not a Gryffindor crest. All right, let's see this one. Another Voldemort. Okay, so we, <laughs> this is still Voldemort's video for sure, because this is our third regular Voldemort and our fourth Voldemort overall, because we got the glow in the dark one, which is really cool. Let's put them in the front here. So here's the regular version. And some of you might be cringing that I'm saying Voldemort so much because we're not supposed to say that name. Um, you know, for this one, it's obviously a Gryffindor crest and we already collected both variants of it. So I'm actually not gonna open this last blind bag since we already know what it is. We've already collected both of the Gryffindor crests. So I'll leave this one aside, but um, yeah, really awesome product. Highly recommend if you're into Harry Potter and if you're looking for maybe a new keychain um, to show off on your backpack or on your purse, wherever you want it, um, this is great. They're really well painted and very sturdy. So yeah, hopefully this helps you out and happy hunting. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.